Hi, Seeksters. Hope your week has been well and that you guys are all staying sanitary and safe. Today's video is going to be all about spring trends with a twist. So I challenged myself to actually go into my wardrobe and create look inspired by this year's current spring trends. Nothing I'm showing you is brand new. I shop my closet and with all of this social distancing happening, you can do the same. So without further ado, if you love fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, you are in the right place. Keep on watching. So if you've seen my top wearable spring trends video, you'll know that one of the top trends to try this spring is the short suit trend. I started off with this cream colored tank that I picked up from a new brand called Lezzy. And then I paired it with some high-waisted sort of city style short. And to finish things off, I went with a pair of tie up white Perspex pumps. Now for accessorizing this look, I kept things pretty simple. Again, I was going for that natural palette. The jacket is linen. And so I opted for my lobster cage bag. This is a dupe for the Liveth by Cult Gaia. They have so many versions of this bag and I'm gonna link to some really beautiful ones. There's these acetate ones that are made of like different colors of it almost looks like candy or something. I'll link it for you down below. We'll do my best to link to pretty similar options for you in the, in the description box below in case you're interested. So the short suit trend, is it a yay or a nay? Comment down below short suit if you're for it. Pantone's color of the year this year is blue. And so I wanted to play around with some of the colors that I was seeing on the runway, particularly blues and greens. We're seeing a lot of mint, a lot of pistachio, a lot of shades of bluey green. And so I thought I would put them all together in one look. To continue on with the shades of blue and green, for shoes I opted for a pair of cobalt pumps that I picked up two years ago in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Now I wanted this to be a look that you could wear to work. It's a perfect example of how you can incorporate trends into your workwear. Your workwear does not have to be super boring. And so I chose my go-to work, quote unquote, bag. Um, again, this bag is old and sold out, but I will do my best to link to something similar down below. Curb chains, chunky chains are all having a moment right now. You don't want to do too much, especially if you're going to work. And I love the idea of stacking a curb chain with something a little bit more dainty. Sprinkling in some on-trend jewelry is an affordable and easy way to update your look. I would love to know, would you wear this look to work? And how do you feel about incorporating trends into your work wear? So for this next look, I'm kind of doubling up on trends. The bra and blazer trend was all over the runways. Definitely isn't the easiest trend to try, so comment below, let me know what your thoughts are on it. It is kind of a tricky trend, so being me, I decided to accept the challenge to create a look. Now, since I was wearing a bra as a top, I knew that I had to pair it with something a little bit high-waisted. This is my hack for my girls, especially if you carry any weight around the belly. I opted for these high-waisted trousers that I picked up from Eloquii. Now, instead of going for a blazer like the trend calls for, I opted for a trench, and that's why I said I doubled up on the trends. 
I looked at my wardrobe, I remembered that I had this gingham trench that I picked up maybe four years or five years ago when I was in London. Anytime I want to like add a little pizzazz with a jacket, I always think about this jacket and it's spring, it's gingham, so it's perfect for the season. Neons were popping last spring and summer and they have are still popping this year. Now, I know neons, not for everyone, N not everyone wants to walk around looking like a highlighter, but for every day, how do you tap into the neon trend? If neon green was a pastel, it would be the color of this skirt. This skirt that I recently picked up um, is the perfect way to do neon. I decided to pair it with a long sleeve top that had a statement sleeve. Full sleeves are still having a moment. So if you have pieces like this in your wardrobe, definitely pull them out. If you don't, I'm going to link a few options for you down below. Then for shoes, I went for my snake skin pair of pumps. If you're going to be wearing a look like this for every day, I opted for more of a green or neutral palette to offset the color. Now that you've seen a more toned down version, a more wearable version of Neon, how do you feel about it? Are you for it or against it? So, to me, this is one of the top most wearable trends for curvy girls for spring and summer, and that is the sheer slash organza trend. If you know me, you know I'm about this life. So I picked up this organza trench in the fall of last year and so it had been like sitting in my closet and I was like, ugh, why did I buy this? And so I thought, why not turn it into a shirt, which is what I did here. I just wrapped it around my body, crisscross style, and tucked into, into my favorite pair of jeans. I'm obsessed with these jeans and of course I will link them for you down below. I decided to pair this with my snake skin pumps again and the colorway of these pumps really make them the ideal neutral. I wanted to make this a summery looking outfit. I was able to counterbalance I think the black by pairing the look with a bag that is definitely more of a summer bag. <laughs> I would wear this look to brunch. I keep talking about brunch. Whenever social distancing ends, <laughs> um, I will rock this look to brunch. I would wear this look to church. Um, I would wear this look to an after hours event. So it's really versatile. And instead of wearing it with a pant, I chose to wear it with jeans. And that really helps to counterbalance the dressiness of the top half of this look. If you're looking to develop, improve, upgrade your style in 2020, all you have to do is subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. For more on spring 2020 trends, make sure to check out this video. And finally, if you're looking to level up your style this year, make sure you check out this video. Follow me on socials for even more outfit inspiration. I'm always on Instagram. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed.